So in all seriousness, AirPaint just took things to the next level with this little pump. This video is sponsored by AirBank. So AirBank has sent me this new Puffer Pro pump they have developed. I'm absolutely stoked about it. For the past year, I've been using their other pump called the Wellshark Pro, and I absolutely love using that pump as well. There's something that's so nice and so convenient about going to the beach with your inflatable paddleboard and not having to have a pre-workout trying to inflate it with your hand pump, but rather hooking up one of these bad boys to it, turning it on, starting it up, sitting back and relaxing, and enjoying watching inflate the paddleboard for you. So this pump honestly is super, super easy to use. All you have to do is grab your pump, grab your hose here, and you're connected to the inflation side of the pump. So you screw it on here. Once you got that connected, you're then gonna connect it to your paddleboard itself. So I'll connect mine up to my paddleboard here. Make sure it's connected to that in good seal. And after that, all you need to do is hold the power button on to turn the pump on. Then once it's on, you're gonna set your desired pressure for your paddle board. And then once you got that set to your desired pressure, all you have to do is hit the power button and away it goes. The other super nice feature about this paddle board pump is that it will actually automatically turn off once it reaches your desired pressure. So once you start the pump and it starts inflating your paddle board, you can go and get the rest of yourself ready to go for your trip. Or maybe you're at the beach for the day and you can work on getting your stuff set up for the beach and your shade. Not have to worry about keeping an eye on this paddleboard pump because once it reaches your desired pressure, it will automatically turn off and then you'll be ready to go for your paddleboard session. So the biggest upgrade with this new Puffer Pro Pump, or should I say the smallest upgrade, is its overall size. This thing is tiny. It's also super light. It only weighs 1.26 kilograms. So anybody, even a small child, can carry this thing without problem. If you're comparing it to a smartphone, it's roughly the size of two smartphones. Or if you're comparing it to the Wellshark Pro Pump, it's roughly half the size of the Wellshark Pro Pump. When it comes to the features on this pump, on the front side of it, you get a really nice LED screen. So even in super bright conditions like it is today, you can still easily see the screen and see the numbers and information that you need to see on that screen. Also right below the screen, you have easy to use buttons like I talked about earlier, so super easy to use. On this other side of the pump, if you open this little tab here, get it open. You have three ports. You have the port to connect your 12 volt charging cable for your car if you need to charge it from your car battery. You also have a USB-C port as well if you want to charge portable devices like your cell phone or things like that. And then you also have a type C port to charge it from a wall charger at home as well. So some nice options to have there, whether you want to charge it at your house, whether you want to charge this pump in your car on the go, or even if you want to use it to charge your portable devices on the go, it's easy to do that as well with the USB-C charger. Then right below that, you have a new feature on this pump that the Wellshark Pro Pump that does not have on it is an LED light. So if you're trying to find something in the dark and you have this pump nearby, you can easily pop that light on to help you find what you're looking for. Or maybe you're headed out for an early paddleboard sunrise session and it's still too dark to see what you're doing. You can easily turn that light on to shed some light on the situation to help you know or see what you're doing in the dark. Then right below that, you have your inflation valve and also your deflation valve you connect the hose up to for your paddleboard. And then on the other side of it, you have this super nice strap that pops out to carry this pump as well. All right, let's talk about a few accessories now that come with this Puffer Pro pump. And starting things off, you have this really nice and convenient carry and travel bag. This bag can easily fit all the accessories inside of it, including this pump. So it's nice to put away and store in your house or grab quickly on the go and take it with you to the beach or anywhere else you're going in the world. So the next thing that comes with this pump is your hose, which is obviously probably the second most important piece of this entire equipment. So all you need to do, as I talked about earlier, is connect this hose to your pump, connect to your board, and you're ready to start pumping the board up. Then the next thing you have, your 12 volt DC charger to charge from your vehicle. The next accessory you have is all these adapters, which is probably the next best thing that this pump can do, is that it's super versatile. You can use these adapters to inflate other things besides paddle boards. You can use adapters to inflate things like an air mattress or pool toys or many other things. So it's super nice that you can use this pump for more than just one thing and knowing that it's there and ready to help you on many adventures to come. 
The next thing we have in this bag, if I can get it out here, do, 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 is your wall charger and your USB-C or USB-C, yeah. Your wall charger and your USB-C cable right here to charge the pump up at home. And then last but not least, we have our little accessory packet here with just some spare parts for the pump. So if you need to replace anything, you have some spare parts right here to get that done. So I really don't have many negatives to say about this pump. When I do compare it to the Wellshark Pro Pump though, there are probably two things that stick out to me the most. The first one is on the Wellshark Pro Pump, it has a really nice design that I love about, about how the hose can wrap around the pump and be connected to it. So you don't need to have a travel bag to carry with you when you're on the go, so you can grab the pump, know the hose is connected to it already, and you're ready to go. So unlike this pump, this pump doesn't have any kind of features to connect the hose around the pump itself when you're not using it. So uh, you have to make sure you grab this pump along with the hose or make sure that's all packed away in the travel bag to make sure you have all the pieces you need with it at all times. It's not really like a game changing negative feature at all. It's just something that I really enjoyed about the Wellshark Pro about how the pump or about how the hose can be connected to the pump itself that this one doesn't have, but just something that I noticed. The second thing is this battery is a little bit smaller than the Wellshark Pro pump battery. So obviously it probably has to do with the size that this thing is smaller than the Wellshark Pro pump. Now, after testing this pump, I would probably say they can do maybe three paddleboard pumps on one charge, or three paddleboards in one charge. When in comparison to the Wellshark Pro Pump, you could probably easily do five boards on one charge. So just know that if you are getting this pump in comparison to the Wellshark Pro Pump, you will have a smaller battery life. But the reality is that most of us are only really inflating one paddleboard or at the most two paddleboards for each paddleboard session. So this guy has plenty of power to do the job, plus more. So in the end, overall, this is probably my new favorite paddleboard pump to use. Now, if you do have the Wellshark Pro Pump already, and you're maybe thinking about upgrading or changing to this paddleboard pump, I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth the change because it basically has the same features as the Wellshark Pro Pump, it's just smaller size and maybe has addition of the LED light on the back side of it. And so if you already have the Wellshark Pro Pump, I wouldn't recommend buying the proper Pro Pump unless you're looking for something that's just smaller and easy to travel with. But if you're someone who has yet to purchase a paddleboard pump, man, you definitely cannot go wrong with this pump. And if I was looking to buy my first paddleboard pump, the Puffer Pro is definitely without a doubt the pump I would buy. So if you're interested in purchasing this paddleboard pump, Airbank is giving you a 10% discount by using my code EthanHuff. So if you're interested in getting that discount, make sure you check it out, link down below. But lastly, I simply want to give a huge thank you to Airbank for sponsoring this video and helping me share with you guys the amazing features of this paddleboard pump that hopefully help you decide whether it's the right one for you to buy or not.